everybody welcome back to thrifting tiger today we're going to be going over golf apparel brands to look out for and at the end i'll give you one more bonus brand to look out for this one's a little bit tougher to find but if you guys find it it sells for over a hundred dollars number seven is the brand called j lindenberg this right here is a j lindenberg shirt this is their logo i'll give you a close-up of these but here's the tag as well now with these golf polo shirts, you want to keep an eye out for any sort of embroideries on here. So this one actually says Pebble Beach Golf Links. Some of these patches or embroideries actually can add to the value depending on the golf course. If it just has some company logo, it's probably not going to add any value to it. But a lot of the golf polo shirts will have embroideries. So you want to make sure you check the sleeves on all of those because it can definitely lose value because of it. This one is a personal item, which is why I kept it and I wanted the Pebble Beach embroidery Anyways, I've always wanted to go golf at Pebble Beach. Unfortunately, it's super expensive to golf there. But the polo shirt itself is kind of a cool design. I really liked it myself. Two tones of blue. And yeah, this is the logo you want to keep an eye out for. If you see it out in the wild, look it up. Jay Lindenberg usually goes for about $20 to $30. And the sensor rate is about 75% on these. But yeah, if you guys ever find it, it's a good brand to look out for. Some professional golfers actually wear Jay Lindenberg as well. They are sponsored by them. But I would suggest picking them up. It's a great brand to look out for. Jay Lindenberg. $20 to $30 is a resale value. Sometimes it can be higher, sometimes it can be lower. But that's the average that I've been seeing on this. And roughly about 75% rate moving along to number six on my list is the brand called g4 now this is more of a recent brand that i've actually come across i've come across this probably in the last couple of years before that i've actually never heard of them their polo shirts do okay it's roughly about a 50 percent sell through rate and it usually goes for about 30 to 40 dollars as far as resale value goes but if you guys can find their golf shoes they actually go for really good money even in pre-owned condition i've sold a couple of them for 80 to 90 dollars and if you can find them brand new they're gonna go well over a hundred dollars for sure going back to the golf apparel to their polo shirts is kind of the focus of this video roughly about 30 to 40 is what i saw and about 50 percent south rate so a little bit lower than jay lindenberg but the value of them is a little bit higher moving along to number five on the list is the brand called grayson got right here a grayson polo shirt this is a personal item nice stripe color they have very cool patterns they got a lot of like contrasting colors as well this one does not have an embroidery but like i mentioned before most of these golf polo shirts will have some sort of embroidery on there so you gotta watch out for those the logo for grayson is this wolf on the back it's a gray wolf i'll give you guys a close-up of this and the material itself is like polyester it feels really nice to wear just the overall nice good quality polo shirt now grayson actually retails for quite a bit but as far as resale value goes it's roughly about 30 to 40 dollars as well and the sensor rate is about 50 percent so it's not the greatest but it's also not the worst out there i love picking them up they usually sell pretty decently for me but they also make different apparel as well i've sold a couple of their jackets actually it's like a puffer jacket jacket that sold for $80. Some of their pullover quarter zips actually do really decently as well, roughly about 60 to 70 on those. So just overall a great brand to look out for. That was number five. Moving along to number four is a company called Bad Birdie. I've actually never found these in the wild, but they actually do really good. Typically you can get about 30 to $40 on these as well. Unfortunately, I don't have any of them to show you guys, but Bad Birdie makes pretty nice designs as well. Kind of a little bit louder. They make like floral patterns they make solid colors as well but it is a great brand to keep an eye out for if you guys find them in the wild uh, i'll show you some comps up on the screen but like i said roughly about 30 to 40 dollars again for cheap pick them up for sure south rate on the bad birdies is about 100 percent so definitely something to keep an eye out for it all depends on the pattern as well as far as the value goes usually more exotic patterns unique patterns they do better but 100 percent south through rate is pretty good consistently for 30 to 40 dollars is the average all right moving along to number three on the list is the company called pxg i've only found a couple of these in the wild i don't see them too often they retail for crazy amounts of money it is a golf company as well they make golf clubs as well as golf apparel it's a very minimal design there's not too much to it but these sell for like 30 40 sometimes even 50 dollars 
and consistently with 150% sell through rate. With PXG, they're not too flashy, like I said, very minimal. You might overlook them too, just because it's so basic, but <laughs> anytime you see PXG on it, pick it up, because it's gonna sell for good money. Even their hats do really well. If you can find their golf pants, they can sell consistently for like $60, $70. So definitely a brand to keep an eye out for PXG. All right, we're rounding up the top two here, and coming in at number two is the company called called Malbon. I've never found this out in the wild. I've only heard about them from reading some golf articles. Just recently, the pro, pro golfer Jason Day just signed with Malbon as far as a sponsorship goes. He ended up leaving Nike for Malbon. They're more like a retro looking apparel company for golf. And you're probably not gonna find them too often in the wild. Honestly, I don't ever, I've never seen them here in Minnesota, maybe more so in California you might see them. But with that being said, resale value on their golf polo shirts go for about 40 to $50 consistently with a 200% sell through rate. I'll flash some of their logos and shirts for you guys to see on the screen, but definitely a brand you want to keep an eye out for, Malbon. Some of their stuff retail price goes for well over $150, but also a very good brand to look out for as far as the resale value goes. And coming down to number one on the list is the company called Roback. Now, Roback doesn't always sell for super high dollar amounts, but you can usually get about $35 to $50 consistently. If you guys ever find them in the wild, I suggest picking them up. The reason for that is that consistently getting $35 to $50 with a 400% sell through rate. <laughs> That's pretty high for a golf polo shirt. If you guys find like Nike and Adidas and Under Armour in the wild, probably get like five to $10 on those items with probably a five to 10% sell through rate on those. With Roback, 35 to $50, 400%. Definitely highly recommend you picking these up. Some distinguishing factors for Roback. Here's the tag. The logo is this dog and on the back, you'll see the stripe right down the middle, the stripe here. That's how you can really easily identify a Roback polo shirt. I've only found this one in the wild and it was at the Goodwill Grand opening. I ended up paying up for it and I ended up keeping it for myself instead. It's a nice polo shirt. Feels really nice. It is made in South Korea. And just overall, it's a nice polo shirt. Cute little dog logo. Definitely, if you guys find those in the wild, look it up, pick it up. Let me know in the comments below, is there anything that you would recommend picking up as far as golf apparel goes? I didn't go through any of like the shoes or anything, just briefly mentioned G4, but there's a lot of golf shoes and they all sell for different amounts of money. So maybe that'll be a different video. Hey, like I mentioned at the beginning video, I got one more bonus brand for you guys to keep an eye out for. This one sells for over $100 if you guys ever do find it in the wild. I only recently found this in the wild. It is the Masters 1934 collection. A lot of Masters gear always sells pretty consistently, especially around this time of the year with the Masters coming up in April. But I did find this at Goodwill. I think you can only buy these at the Masters uh, tournament. I don't believe they sell it anywhere else, which is why it's super expensive to get these. And they have many different patterns and so forth, but this is the patch logo you wanna be looking out for. It's got the circle around the Masters logo and then on the tag like i said masters 1934 i actually found it at goodwill like i mentioned like three or four weeks ago can't remember exactly but i did only pay 11 dollars for it and these consistently sell for over a hundred dollars depending on certain <laughs> styles they could go for 150 some of them go for even higher if you can find a brand new one you could probably get 200 dollars for a polo shirt which is crazy anything master stuff could sell pretty consistently but if you find the 19th 34 collection make sure you pick it up for sure the sell through rate on these is about 150 percent if you can get them in green like i have here they could probably sell for more they make many different colors but especially green masters that those two combinations usually will equal pretty good money but those are the eight brand for you guys to keep an eye out for as far as golf polo shirts go are there any brands that i missed is there anything that you particularly pick up anything that you guys recommend please leave a comment down below i'm always learning i'm always discovering new brands out there especially for golf apparel i love picking up golf stuff some of you guys might mention foot joy they make a lot of different types of apparel like they make shoes 
They make jackets, they make polo shirts, they make pants. Their polo shirts don't do that well, actually. Probably you can get like 15 maybe for those. It's probably similar to a Travis Matthew where it's kind of oversaturated now on eBay. But their shoes actually, some depending on styles, actually can do pretty decently. In this video, I am specifically kind of focusing on the polo shirts because we see them all over thrift stores there's a lot of them out there a lot of brands you want to just avoid and a lot of brands that you might want to actually do some research and take some, take a look at let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite that is everything that i've got for you guys hopefully this was informative for you guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you hit the like button subscribe for more thrifting content like this and i will see you all in the next one bye